Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. I'm going to show you how to do needle effect animation in PowerPoint in 6 easy steps. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the tutorial. The first step is to create semicircle or half circle. To create semicircle, go to insert tab, go to shapes, under shapes, select partial circle. Drag this down and drag this up and adjust to the height of the slide. It's okay, perfectly all right. The second step is to create the needle. To create the needle, go to insert tab, shapes and select a triangle. Maybe this size is enough. Okay, now I'm going to give animation effect. I want to rotate this particular triangle. To give the animation effect, go to animation tab, expand by clicking the down arrow, and, and under emphasis, click spin. Now what's happening here, the axis of this triangle is somewhere here. The axis should be below, uh, at the bottom. There's a small trick behind this one, how to rotate from the bottom. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to duplicate this one, select the triangle, press Ctrl D and I'm going to format, rotate, flip vertical. Bring this down, yes, select the top triangle, go to format, in the shape fill, I'll say no fill and the shape outline as no outline. Select both the triangles, right mouse click, group it. Now I'm going to apply the animation, the same animation, spin animation. Go to animation tab again, expand it, and under emphasis, select spin. Yes, it is perfectly all right. Change the color of the needle by selecting the needle. Go to format tab and shape fill. Select the color you want. For example, I'm just going to select a green color and bring it exactly this position. Perfectly all right. Now the third step is to animate the needle. The animation should be somewhat like this. Should start from the bottom and should stop here. So to do that, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to select this one. The, remember we have already created the animation which is 360 degrees rotating. Now I'm going to just change that one, the existing animation, double click this one. In the effects tab, amount, I'm just going to make it for example 130 degrees and press the enter key. Go back again to the amount and say counterclockwise. And the timing, I'm just going to make it very fast. I'll just say very fast and click OK. Now see, it's starting from here, if you see, it's starting from here and stopping it here, which is perfectly all right. The fourth step is to create the bullet point. The needle comes up and the bullet point or the point should appear here and the text should come from that point. So let's see how to do that one. I'm going to insert tab, shapes. Select the oval shape while pressing the shift key, make the size as you like. Maybe this is uh, okay for me. And I'm going to give some 3D effect to that one. To give 3D effect, right mouse click, format shape. In the format shape, go to effects, go down in 3D format, top bevel, top bevel. Select the round convex and do some more changes like the color of this contour to white, material to matte and uh, the neutral to a uh, soft. Okay and go to shadows and just going to give the size which is 100 which will give us a, a a white 
corners and I'm just going to give the blur say something 10 or whatever you can give it 10 or you can distance whatever you can make it one point or two point it's up to you right now you can see it becomes a perfect uh, 3d uh, point here which I'm going to place it somewhere here now let's see here while playing while playing the uh, slideshow okay it's not perfectly aligned so what I'm going to do now I'm just making it somewhat down somewhere here maybe it's perfect let's see once again yes now what I have to do what we have to do is now once the needle comes here it should change the color maybe some other color green or blue whatever you like so to do that one I'm going to give the animation again go to animations click here and again in the emphasis I'll say fill color okay now what I'm going to do now just double click this one and which color you want once the animation happens for example I'm just going to give uh, maybe say a yellow color or or red color whatever or purple or whatever you say and just click OK and this effect should happen once the needle comes here automatically it should not be on the on click to do that one I'm just going to select this one and on start I'm just going to click say after previous so once the needle comes here then the color changes to the uh, red or maroon so let's see that one yes it's perfectly all right okay now the text should come here so for that one again I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to type the text here say enter your text here increase the size change the color um, just maybe I'm just going to change to blue color dark blue and I'm placing it here and the animation once the needle comes here it should change the color to uh, red and then the text should appear here select the text go to animation and I'm going to use a wipe right so wipe again to do some more changes modifications the double click and the direction it should start from left so it will give a perfect uh, animation effect uh, timings make it very fast it's already there and click OK and this one should happen again after previous OK so once the first step is the needle will come here and the the point will change the color from blue to or red and the text will appear here let's see that one click yes okay it's perfectly all right but you can see this color is uh, changing very uh, slowly to make it fast again double click that one timings it's medium I'll make it very fast or you can give it 0 0.1 second also it's 0 0.1 0 0.2 it's up to you yes perfectly all right the fifth step is to create point number two three and four and it's very easy we are just going to just copy this part and just bring it down so let's see how to do the point number two in the point number one the needle is starting somewhere from this point and now I want in the second point the needle should go from this point to a point number two somewhere here maybe say 30 degrees now let's add an animation select the needle and remember you have to go to add animation if you go here it will create uh, it will override the animation to add a uh, same I mean on the same object uh, second time animation you have to go to add animation so let's go to add animation and uh, spin so it will create a new animation here the spins you can see the second one now let's do some changes here double click the amount I'm just going to make it say 30 degrees and enter key and let this be a clockwise only 
and the timings I am making it very fast. Let's play it. Point one, and it's stopping somewhere here. So I am just going to copy this to the the point and the text some to the second point. So just I am just copying this one. Select this both and press Ctrl D and bring it here. So you see it's already copied here. So let's play it again. Point one, point two, which is not aligned. So just I'll make it somewhat down. Maybe it's perfect. Let's see. Yes. The sixth step is to do some beautification work. Now let's change the color of the semicircle. Select the circle, go to format. I'm just going to change the color, shape, fill, say somewhat a gray, light gray color. And shape outline, I'm just going to make it uh, say uh, a dash lines. Okay. And I'm just going to change the needle. I'm going to give a 3D effect. Right mouse click on the needle, format shape. Go to format shape here and select the effects. In the 3D format, I'm just going to say a uh, bevel, which is round, right? And if you want to do some more changes, you can do it. You can do some shadows or whatever you like to do. Fine. And apart from that one, what we have to do is I'm just going to create one more uh, small uh, small semicircle here so to give more uh, a beautiful look. Just go again to insert shapes. Again, I uh, can use the partial circle maybe this size is enough drag this one down drag this one up and just bring it at the center of this one and you can see the needle as uh, it's gone uh, backward just select the needle and just bring it from front okay so let's see how it looks now Point one, point two, point three, and point four. That's it, friends. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and please do subscribe if you like this video. And see you next time with more entertaining stuff. Thank you very much, and goodbye.